All right, hey everyone, I wanna share a pro tip with you that I came across pretty recently that just completely blew my mind. And we're gonna talk about some very advanced filtering tools that to be quite honest, I had no idea even existed in Excel. Now I'm gonna call this a five-star productivity tip. This is an expert level tip. Definitely a little tricky to get used to, but once you understand how it works and what's going on, uh, I think you'll find that this is an incredibly powerful option. So basically we're dealing with advanced filters here and we've used these before. You'll find the advanced filter option uh, right there in your data tab. We've used them to kind of pull out unique values from a list, paste them into a new workbook location. But what we haven't really played with is that criteria range condition within the dialog box. We've always kind of just left that blank and ignored it. And that range is basically just a range of cells right there in your worksheet where you can manually input very complex custom filtering rules. And by doing so, you can create these intricate combinations of rules that you couldn't possibly replicate with any other standard filtering tools, even basic pivot tables. So let me show you an example uh, of what I mean by that. In this case, I've created some filter criteria cells right above the table or range itself in cells A2 through L4, and you can see some of the criteria that I've entered there. So in column D, genre, I'm telling Excel to filter my source table for rows where the genre equals biography or action. I'm also applying a wildcard title filter with the word the followed by an asterisk. That tells Excel I want only the titles that start with the word the, but note that that's only on row three the biography row. So that wildcard title filter is not applied to the action genre rows, only biography. And then similar case for column I, that IMDB score. What I'm doing here is saying, show me all of the biography films that have an IMDB rating greater than eight. But for my action films, I want to be a little bit more critical. Filter those action films down to only the ones with the rating greater than 8.5. So one important thing to note here is that you'll notice there's no filter row or there's no filters applied to the headers in row seven. And that's because Excel isn't simply using, you know, header filtering options. It's actually iterating through the rows of the table and filtering down the ones that don't meet all of the criteria defined in my criteria range. And what that means is that it's very powerful and very flexible, but it can also be very slow especially if you're dealing with very large tables or if you set very broad criteria that returns thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows. So common use cases here, uh, again, applying those customer complex rules that can't be replicated with your standard filter tools or pivots or adding a user facing criteria range, which helps to provide some transparency into how a table or range is being filtered and what settings have been applied. So again, this one takes a little bit of time uh, to get used to, a little bit of experimentation uh, to get it to work, but let's jump into our pro tip workbook and actually work through a couple samples. All right, so here in our Excel pro tip workbook, you're gonna head to your advanced filtering demo in the productivity tip section. Go ahead and press link. That will take you to your blue advanced filtering tab. And this should look familiar. It's just like the demo I showed you in the slide where we've got a source table which is really just a range of values starting here in row seven. And then I've manually created uh, this space for my filter criteria right here above the table. And it's important to keep in mind that you do need to replicate uh, your header row like I've done here in row two. That's gonna give Excel uh, what it needs to apply these advanced filters. So to show you how this works, I don't need to apply filters to any headers here because this is gonna work a little bit differently. Remember, it's going to actually iterate through the rows in this range and hide the ones that don't meet the criteria that I set. Um, so let's start simple. I want to return kind of a small set of data. So let's say only show me the rows where genre equals biography. Enter that in. And now with any cell selected in the range that I want to actually filter, I'm going to go into data, advanced, and Remember, this is the criteria range that I care about. It's automatically identified the entire cell range that I want to filter. You can confirm by looking at these 
green marching ants. It extends all the way down through all the data that I want. So that looks good. Now my criteria range is going to equal just row two through row three from A to L. So AL, sorry, A2 through L3. And that should just about do it. When we press OK, there you go. Our source range down here has filtered down to only show me rows where biography is the genre. And following that same process, we can add more filters here, just like we would in a regular filter dialog box. So we can say, you know, IMDB score greater than eight. We can say only show me the titles that start with the word the, and the asterisk basically means I don't care what else comes after the word the, just give me the ones that start with T-H-E, right? And then basically we got our range defined already. So we select inside of our table, press filter. That's gonna unfilter everything. Go into advanced. It's got the range already set. See that we've already kind of dropped our new values into that range that we've already defined. Press OK. And there you go. So now biography films, starting with the word the, that have IMDb scores greater than eight. So we've got the pianist, the sea inside, the imitation game, the act of killing, and the wolf of Wall Street. These five titles uh, pass through all three of those criteria or those filters that we defined. Now we can press filter to clear that again. And in this case, you know, we haven't done anything novel or groundbreaking at this point because if you want to see something, we can actually just replicate what we've done using the standard filters. We're going to do a text filter that begins with that same thing, though, with an asterisk. Press OK. Filter IMDb scores with a number filter greater than 8. Press OK. And look at that. We've arrived at the exact same answer, the same five titles, just using those standard column headers, right? So we didn't really need to use the fancy advanced filter criteria for something like what we just did. So let's walk through an example of when we would need this advanced tool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just unfilter that, take the filters off the header, and we're back to where we started. And now let's add some criteria here. So when we add fields beneath existing ones, we're basically adding an or clause. So if genre is biography or something else. So in this case, let's go ahead and add family as a second genre go back into our advanced filter. And this time we need to change the criteria range since we had only extended it to row three. Now we want to extend it to row four because we've added family right there in that fourth row. So press okay. There you go. Now we have biography and family films. Note that these additional filters, the the filter on the title and the greater than eight filter on the IMDb score are only applying to the biography rows because that's where those filter criteria settings exist. So we've got family titles that are rated under an eight, and we've got titles that don't start with the word the. And this pinpoint level of control is exactly why this advanced filter tool is so powerful. And it's why we can do things like, you know, instead of family, maybe we want biography and action, but we only want action films that were released after 2005 and we want to apply an IMDB score to the action titles as well, but not greater than 8. Maybe we want greater than 8.5 instead, right? And because now we have our filter criteria that accommodates through row 4, all we do is press advanced, OK. And there you have it. We've got biography films, action films that are only released after 2005. Both of those action titles are rated greater than an 8.5. Meanwhile, the biography rows follow a completely different set of filter criteria. So there you have it. Advanced filters can be an incredibly powerful tool once you learn how to harness them.